Hello, my name is Peter Conti. I am a professor of radiology, pharmacy, and biomedical engineering at the University of Southern California and director of the USC Pet Imaging Science Center. Throughout my 25 years in nuclear medicine and radiology, I have spent most of my career researching innovative technologies in the field of nuclear medicine. Pet technology has revolutionized how we diagnose and treat patients in oncology. The use of whole body PET in breast cancer was first published in 1989 and since then has shown to be sensitive and effective for the detection of advanced breast cancer and distant metastatic disease. However, whole body PET is known to have limitations in detecting small, well-differentiated tumors and in C2 lesions. Today, the goal of molecular imaging in breast cancer is to preoperatively identify which patients are best served by lumpectomy and define the margins for surgery by identifying metabolic abnormalities in the tissues, potentially decreasing the number of secondary surgeries. Positron emission mammography, otherwise known as PEM, is a relatively new technology that is designed for breast imaging where high resolution detection of FDG uptake is needed. High resolution PEM can be used for pre-surgical planning, staging of breast cancer, and assessment of treatment response in locally advanced cancers. PEM is unique as it provides the ability to characterize anatomically small, difficult to see lesions by allowing visualization of abnormal tissue metabolism, potentially spotting malignancies at an earlier stage. The PEM scanner is unique with its dual detector system consisting of two flat high resolution detectors mounted directly to the compression paddles. These paddles can be rotated to optimize imaging, such as in the acquiring of medial lateral and oblique and cranial caudal breast views. By lightly compressing the tissue during the acquisition, the image can be acquired in positions that are analogous to those used in mammography, which allows for image co-registration and comparison. The close proximity of the crystal detectors and limited angle tomographic reconstruction results in an in-plane spatial resolution of 1.5 millimeters compared to the 4.2 to 6.5 millimeter axial resolution found in commercially available whole body PET scanners. Because of the unique construction of the PEM device, patient acceptance has been positive, noting there is very little compression and discomfort compared to mammography and MR examinations. PEM has been studied in breast cancer patients and shown to have greater than 90% sensitivity and specificity with pre-surgical planning and the staging of disease, as well as in detection of DCIS, a key area of concern in breast cancer. The following PEM images demonstrate the quality and clarity acquired with the Naviscan system. Both of these breast cancer patients presented with lesions less than five millimeters, as evident in the first slide. A four millimeter invasive lobular carcinoma that presents very clearly with PEM, and a second case presenting with a three millimeter ductal carcinoma in situ. The ability to image small lesions and visualize metabolic activity is key and clearly the advantage with PEM. PEM is proving to be an exciting development in the world of molecular imaging, and it is changing how we identify and treat breast cancer.